Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to discuss to you topic about looping statement using language. So we'll try to have the uh, while statement. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so here we have to declare our variables. For example, we have integer counter is equals to 1. So meaning the first value of counter is 1. Okay, and then we have here 4. Okay, we have here counter okay, is equals to 1. Or we can have it here na lang on top. Counter 1, counter is less than or equal to 5. Let's have na muna 5. Then counter, I should, we'll have pala the wild. Wild counter is less than or equal to 5. Then we have here. Print F. Counter is equal to, okay, then we have percent B, and then we have comma, we have counter, sorry. and then we have counter plus plus, okay, this one, counter plus plus is equivalent to counter is equals to counter plus one. It's the same here. Okay? So, let's run this program. Okay. So, let me just add a backslash n here. So do it. Okay. So, if you will look at the output here, the program will display 1, 2. Can you see it, guys? The program will display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so what happened here, guys? Okay, so let me explain, ha? Okay, so let's do now the simulation. Okay, this is very important when you're doing a program, especially in terms of looping, you have the simulation. Okay, so initial value of counter is equals to 1. This is our variable, okay? Then this is our output. So I'll have here the output on top. And uh, below, and then the simulation at, on top. So, yung output natin nasa ilalim, yung simulation natin nasa taas. Okay. So, initial value of counter is 1. Okay. So, we have here the condition. Is the value of 1 or is the value of counter less than or equal to sa 5? True. Okay. So, since this is true, we will execute this one. So, ano gagawin niya? So, it will display counter counter equals this is the output and then we have here percent d percent d is referring to the value of the counter which is equivalent to one okay then we have here backslash and meaning it will move on the next line okay after that it will execute this one so counter plus plus meaning that is equivalent to counter what's the value of your counter one plus one two so meaning counter now is equivalent to 2. Next one. Okay, next one we have here. Okay. We will now proceed with the condition. So, what's the value of the counter this time? 2 now. So, we have is 2 less than or equal to 5. Since this is true, we will execute again this one. So, we will display counter is equals to 2. Okay, then backslash n or move on the next line. This time, we will now increment again the value of your counter. So, counter now will become, okay, next. Is counter or 3 less than or equal to 5, true or false? So, since this is true, okay, we will in, uh, perform again this one. So, we'll have counter is equals to 3, then move backslash n. Okay, and then increment this time the value of your counter. Counter now is equivalent to 4. Is 4 less than or equal to 5? True or false? Okay, true. So, since this is true, we'll execute again this one. 
So we have counter is equals to 4. Okay, then increment again the value of counter. So counter now will become 5. Is counter less than or equal to 5? True or false? 5. Okay, is it less than or equal to 5? True or false? So since this is true, we'll execute again this one. So we'll have counter is equals to 5. Okay, and then increment again the value of counter. Counter now will become 6. Is 6 less than or equal to 5? True or false? So since false na po siya, hindi na po ito gagawin, meaning that ends the program. So that's why this is your output. Okay, so we're going to delete this one and then we'll run it again to show you the output. Okay, okay, let me remove this one. So I'm going to convert this one into a do while statement. I have here do. And then I'll remove this one. Then I place it under. Okay, and then I'll put the semicolon. Okay, so this is now the do while. So let's check to run the program. So if you notice, we got we have the same value. Okay, so same statement lang din po siya. So we will start with this one, do. You will start with this one. And then you will test if it's true or false. If it's true, you will go back here. Pareho lang po yan. This time, guys, what we're going to do, baguhin natin yung values. Gawin ko tong 5. I'll make it 5. Counter is equals to 5. And then, instead of counter plus plus, I'll make it counter minus minus. So, meaning this will give us the computation counter is equals to counter minus minus. One. Okay, and then ito, gagpapalita natin, this will become greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so when you run the program, it will display the value in descending order. Pababa siya because you started with 5 and you ended with, I'm oh, sorry, you ended with 1. Okay, we'll do the simulation again. Or simulation. Then we have the output here. Okay. So, value of counter is equals to 5. Okay. So, we have your do. So, we have here the statement do. So, meaning the two do statement, ito po yung nasa loob nung uh, open and close curly braces. Ito lang yung gagawin natin. Okay. So, nakalagay dito, counter is equals to, what's the value of your counter? 5. Okay, so that's 5. And then we have your backslash n. We'll move the cursor sa ilalim. And then we have counter minus minus. So meaning, the value of counter is 5 minus 1. That would give you how many? Counter now is equivalent to 4. And then we will test. So we have your while. So meaning, this statement, sabi po dito, this statement will be executed while the value of counter is greater than or equal to 1. So meaning, hanggat mataas siya or equal sa 1, uulit-ulitin natin to. Okay? So this time, the value of counter is equals to 4. So let's go back to the do statement. So we will execute this one. Counter is equivalent to 4. Then backslash n again. So this time, we will decrement the value per counter. Counter now is equivalent to 3. Next one. So we have here the condition. Is the value of counter greater than... Ano bang value ng counter natin? It's 3, right? Yung counter daw ba greater than or equal sa 1? True or false? True. So balik po tayo dito. We'll do the statement again. So this time, we'll have counter is equals to 3. Then decrement the value of counter. So counter now will become 2. Okay, tama kasi magpa-minus lang tayo. Okay, and then we have here, is counter greater than or equal to 2? True or false? 2. True or false? Since 2. Okay, babalik po tayo dito sa taas. Okay, so display natin yung value ni counter. Counter is equivalent to 2. 
So, decrement again value of your counter from 2 magiging 1. Okay? So, we have here, is 1 greater than or equal to 1? True or false? True. So, since true po yan, babalik ulit tayo dito, i-display niya yung value ni counter which is equivalent to 1. And then, magde-decrement yung value ng 1. From 1, magiging ilan? 1 minus 1 will give you 0. Okay? Is 0 greater than or equal to 1? True or false? So, no, since no. false na yan, we will not do the statement again. Okay, stop na po tayo dyan. So, meaning this is your output. So, let me run this again for you to see the output. Okay, the output here is that one. Okay? Kuha po. Now, if I ask you to create a number, for example, value ko is 1, gusto kong magsulat ng number from 1 to 1,000, pwede po yan. This is very possible. Okay? So, that would give us up to, uh, okay, sorry, I think bali yung ating condition should be greater than. So, counter, okay, this should be counter plus plus. At one is up. So, the program will stop once it reach 1,000. So, it will start by 1, magulup siya hanggang 1,000. Another one, for example, you will have here uh, this one counter uh, times equals 10. Okay, this is equivalent to counter multiplied by 10. So this will give you this answer. Okay, 1 times 10, 10, 10 times 10, 100, 100 times 10. It's 1,000. Okay? We'll try to convert this one um, in a for loop statement. Okay. I will not remove this one yet. Okay? Para you can uh, compare the for loop and the uh, do while loop. Okay. So here, I'm going to have int X. So, this time, I'm going to use the variable X instead of using the variable counter. So, dito po ang gagamitin kong variable ay X. Then, we have here for X is equals to 1. Okay, X is equals to 1. X is less than or equal to going muna natin 5. And then, X plus plus. Then, we have open and close curly braces. We have print f the value of x is then we have percent d here so percent d referring to the var value of x okay then i'll have your backslash n for the values okay so just simple as that so ito lang po siya Okay, if I'm going to run this one, so let me have a comment here first para hindi to mag-run. Okay, I'll put a comment muna. Okay, if I'm going to run this, okay, that would give me this answer. So let me... So ito po. Did you get that, guys? So ang value ng x nag-start sa 1. Okay, and then, test niya yung condition. Yung x daw ba ay less than or equal sa 5? Pagka true, if it's true, it will execute this statement. And then, after this, it will go back here. Meaning, it will increment the value of your x. After that, after niya mag-increment, dito na po siya mag-jump. Hindi na siya babalik dito sa x equals 1. It will go back here. It test niya if yung value, yung bagong value ng x ay equal sa 5. 
If it's true, it will execute again this one. Thank you for watching my channel. So I hope you've learned a lot. So please click like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye!